Looking for something to read this summer? We have lots of suggestions. For instance, realistic fiction for fans of John Green or Perks of Being a Wallflower. Dr. Bird's Advice for Sad Poets by Evan Roscoe's. James Whitman is sad. His parents don't understand him. He doesn't understand his parents. His sister has just been kicked out of school and home, and he's spending more time in his mind than the poetry of Walt Whitman than in real life. He hugs trees for comfort and is painfully aware that the girl he likes isn't likely to notice him. He needs help, but first, he'll have to help himself. This might involve an imaginary bird. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allaire Sands Ari hasn't ever needed or wanted friends. Friends tend to ask more questions than Ari has answers for. Questions he wishes he had the answers for. That he wishes his parents would talk about, like why his brother's in prison, or what happened to his dad during the war. This is a heartwarming, wonderful story. The Tragedy Paper by Elizabeth Laban As with any good boarding school, the Irving School has tradition. Last year, one of those traditions went horribly wrong, and Tim is still reeling from what happened. He just wants to forget about it all and just get through his last year. Naturally, that's the last thing he gets when he finds CDs left in his room, recorded just from him, from the previous resident and the person at the core of last year's tragedy. Boy 21 by Matthew Quick Finley has never really felt like he fit in as the only white kid on his basketball team, so he's surprised when Coach asks him to help out the new player, a kid named Russ who insists everyone call him Boy 21, and that his parents are aliens who will be coming back to him any day. No matter how loony the kid might be, the way Russ plays basketball is like poetry, and despite himself, Finley finds that the two boys do have something in common. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell this one is a bit of a hold list, but it's absolutely worth waiting for. Eleanor looks all wrong. Her hair is wrong. Her clothes are wrong. Park just wants to fly under the radar. Staying under the radar, however, doesn't include letting bully bait like Eleanor share his seat on the bus. But even if there's nowhere else for her to sit, it doesn't mean he has to talk to her. Of course, he will, and it will change everything for both of them. For more great recommendations for summer reading, check out our YouTube account. Have a great summer!